keep pressure on. Trump would push North Korea to negotiate. Ex-White House staffer says North Korea will feel the pressure from the U.S. to sit down at the negotiating table, a former White House Security Council staffer said, amid fears of World War III. North Korea will get a major push by the U.S. to negotiate tensions between Kim Jong-un and Donald Trump as the U.S. is inching closer to war, said ex-White House Security Council staffer Gina Turner. Speaking to Fox News, she said, that s what I suspect is going on behind the scenes here, yes. It is horrific to hear that we might be inching closer to war with a nuclear-capable adversary. The former staffer, who worked for George W. Bush and Obama, added that North Korea is an issue President Trump has never wavered on. She said, but I think when you kind of ratchet it down and return to the basics here, the Trump administration's policy towards North Korea has remained consistent from the campaign through today. It is not one of those areas that he has been all over the place on. She added that President Trump wants to keep the secret of state under pressure. Mrs. Turner continued, he has said from day one that he wants to keep the military option on the table. He never wants the North to feel like the pressure is coming off. Express. Home of the Daily and Sunday Express. Express underscore logo underscore Christmas search. Find us on Facebook. Follow us on Twitter. Check us on Google Plus. Subscribe to our RSS feed. Log and register daily. Horoscope wraps. Top 10 R paper. Paper archive. Weather 11. London home news. Showbiz and TV. Sport. Common finance. Travel. Entertainment. Life and style. UK world politics. Natural. Royal weather. History. Obitari. Someday. Sensu. Weird. Scotland. Hava news. World. Keep pressure on. Trump would push North Korea to negotiate. Ex-White House staffer says mystery as more Osk boats from North Korea wash up on Japan's shores mystery as more Osk boats from North Korea wash up on Japan North Korea wake-up call, U.S. could suffer six-month shutdown after EMP attack North Korea wake-up call, U.S. could suffer six-month shut I am a celebrity 2017, Carol Verderman sparks concern as she stuns in strapless jumpsuit I am a celebrity 2017, Carol Verderman sparks concern as she am a celebrity 2017, Rebecca Vardy banned from Bush Tucker trial. Here's why I'm a celebrity 2017. Rebecca Vardy banned from Bush Tucker trial. North Korea missiles could thwart U.S. defense systems. Expert warns as Kim threatens USA. North Korea missiles could thwart U.S. defense systems. Expert keep pressure on. Trump would push North Korea to negotiate. Ex White House staffer says North Korea will feel the pressure from the U.S. to sit down at the negotiating table. A former White House Security Council staffer said. Amid Fears of World War III. By Abigail Morris Published, 1445, Tuesday, December 5, 2017 Pipe Updated, 1450, Tuesday, December 5, 2017 One Trump will keep pressure on North Korea to negotiate play mute current time midnight slash duration time midnight loaded, 0% progress, 0% full screen North Korea will get a major push by the U.S. to negotiate tensions between Kim Jong-un and Donald Trump as the U.S. is inching closer to war, said ex-White House Security Council staffer Gina Turner. Speaking to Fox News, she said, that s what I suspect is going on behind the scenes here, yes, it s horrific to hear that we might be inching closer to war with a nuclear-capable adversary. The former staffer, who worked for George W. Bush and Obama, Added that North Korea is an issue President Trump has never wavered on. North Korea Kim Jong-un Donald Trump World War III Fox News slash getting North Korea, the U.S. must bring Kim Jong-un to the negotiating table to avoid war Gino Turner said she said, but I think when you kind of ratchet it down and return to the basics here, the Trump administration's policy towards North Korea has remained consistent from the campaign through today. It is not one of those areas that he has been all over the place on. She added that President Trump wants to keep the secret of state under pressure. Mrs. Turner continued, he has said from day one that he wants to keep the military option on the table. He never wants the North to feel like the pressure is coming off. U.S. Army Colonel warns U.S. will go to war with North Korea play video and I think that that's what is happening here. I really believe that part of what is going on is this is kind of a last ditch effort or a major push to get them to sit down at the negotiating table with us. Because that is something that President Trump has said is a priority for him in recent weeks and it is something European allies have been really harping on him about. Kim Jong-un has been celebrating an ICBM missile launch since last Tuesday, which saw a missile soar 2,500 miles into the atmosphere before crashing down into the Sea of Japan. And now US and South Korean officials warned it could have reached any point of the US mainland, including Washington DC. 
but in an exclusive interview with Express.co.uk, CNN military analyst Cedric Layton warned that the U.S. president acting on his persistent claims to bring fire and fury on Kim Jong-un's regime would have many faults in reality. He said, Donald Trump's rhetoric at some points in time would indicate that he would be open to the idea of a quick military conflict. The problem is that the idea of a quick military conflict has many, many faults. Usually, the conflicts end up not being quick, they end up being protracted and in any protracted conflict, there is the risk of the unexpected result. The military expert also explained that a number of systems remain in place. To